Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining me here, Collective Energy. Thank you so much for all your generosity, your likes, your shares, your comments, and of course, all your subscriptions, guys. I've been away for a few days. I'm glad to be back here with you guys. Let's find out what's been going on. Collective Energy, what's been going on for the Collective Collective. Oh. Closed minded, refusing to face reality. Fear based thinking. Huh. Gambling, playing games. Hmm. Playing a game. Crack shot here. Optical illusion. Hmm. Somebody did not. Yeah. Repair. Genosis, the white rabbit. Someone fell down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Big mess here. Made up story. Hmm. Somebody's coin toss flipped. <clears throat> flipped a coin. Two sides to every story here. Can't decide. Power destruction. Triumph over evil. You're a pioneering spirit. So somebody sat here. Mm-hmm. Yep. They could have married someone else or committed to someone else. Mm-hmm. You broke free. Or this person's trying to break free. Stories we tell ourselves. It's this make believe. Ha ha ha. They got trapped by a black widow. Someone very treacherous. Cunning. Danger. Toxic situation. Entrapment. Entrapped by someone very low vibrational. <laughs> mm 
was just about the universe here supporting you. This person uh, believed an optical illusion. says within a few weeks something is changing they're going to see the reality of a situation they're going to extend the olive branch out to you you believed in the fairy tale ending you believed in the happy ever after but this person tossed a coin for their life's decision with their head stuck in the sand They're going to see the reality of whoever this black widow is who trapped them, ensnared them. It's an optical illusion. What is this optical illusion, spirit? Hmm. What is this? Optical illusion. Queen of Cups. They broke your heart. <coughs> coin toss it's an optical illusion that now they regret regret hurting you and ending things with you they could have committed to someone else they could have married someone else. They could have committed to you or married you. They were being manipulated, I'm telling you. By a third party. That's a black widow. Deliberately selling this person as a bunch of stories of manipulation like a fool deceit lying trying to this is the empress this is truth and clarity. Someone was hell bent on destruction. Hell bent on destroying this relationship based on lies, based on illusion, based on manipulation. Could have been about friends, friends trying to destroy this relationship or someone who they had befriended. Trying to control. This person was insecure and they ghosted you. You trusted your intuition here. They fell for an illusion. They were playing and they left you out in the cold. Thinking that maybe you would get jealous or something. Yeah, that you would get jealous. Instead, you walked away. Ah, 
Well, they chose a burden. Someone very controlling. betrayed you. <clears throat> For an illusion. Grass is greener syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was chasing this person. They fell for an illusion. They fell for a trap. Somebody could have said that you were trying to trap them. But they got trapped. <laughs> they were juggling. This is karmic justice. You're over here, abundant. They put you in a competition. But what is this? Family? This other lover's family? Or family told this person to reject you? It's a conspiracy theory. This person got up in their head thinking that you had some kind of conspiracy theory against them or something like that. It's people talking in this person's head, continually talking to this person, talking to this person, talking to this person, putting ideas in their head. They got thinking that there was a conspiracy theory going on or something like this. This is fucked up. That's why they hesitated. Somebody deliberately putting ideas in their head. Saying that Saying that you were like looking at other people or you were interested in other, other people. They were talking to other people. Look at all these people putting ideas in their head. There's all these masculine friends and energies putting ideas in their head to their head was going to pop. Here you are getting wish fulfillment. Here you are healing. Here you are just being confident. You were dedicated, you were loyal, you were committed. 
But these friends were manipulating. These friends were putting ideas in their head about you. They tossed a coin. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. They fell um, for a conspiracy theory. They didn't know what to do. Somebody putting ideas in their head and they're sitting there like avoidance, trying to stick their head in the sand like they didn't know what was going on. They knew what was going on. Let's find out. What's um, their intentions now? What does this person of the collectives, what's their intention? Spirit, what is their intention with the collective? What is their intention? What's their intention? Love. <sighs> Jesus. Wanting to return to work on things. There's confusion here. They want to return. They have respect and integrity and high regard for you. But this person is sitting with their head stuck in the freaking sand. Someone has got this person all messed up. Someone has got them confused. And angry. Embarrassed regret. They regret and they're angry about their decision. Learning a lesson. They regret not making you this offer. They regret not committing to you. They're feeling foolish. Jealous friends? Yeah. Who are trying to cause three of swords. Feeling very defensive about their actions. Low vibrational energies, I'm telling you. They're longing for you. They don't trust you. They don't trust your, <clears throat> or they don't trust this devil energy. Somebody could have said you're a dark witch. Somebody could have said, but you're not, you're an angel.
they spy on you. They think if they communicate with you, it's going to create um, an argument. They think if they communicate with you, it's going to start some drama or something here. Because they rejected you and they were deceptive to you and they played on you. That's what's stopping them. That's what they're worried about. They're worried about this other lover and ghosting this other lover and regretting they ghosted you for this other lover. They're insecure. So they didn't know what to do. Because they know the shit would have hit the fan. They're running. They feel trapped. They feel trapped in a marriage or a relationship. They are like... <clears throat> They see you as the empress. They know that you're honest. They know you're telling the truth. They know you're strong. And they're worried. I don't think they want to bring you this drama. I don't think they want to bring you all these troubles that they got themselves into with this other lover. And they know damn well it's going to be a problem. Manipulative friends, I'm telling you. They want to come toward you, and this is what it's saying. They know damn well that if they talk to you, there's going to be hell to pay on the other end of whoever these friends are, whoever these, all the bullshit that's been going on and all the BS that they got involved with. How are they going to bring that your way without bringing you a bunch of drama or burdens? It's what they got, drama and burdens. Cannot. They had people in their ear. Their friends, their family, other people. This other lover. It, it's like, if this person came to you, they would be bringing you drama. And they'd be bringing you a lot of their bullshit burdens. It's just going to be a drama fest with their with this third party and the third party's family and friends and all that. Your person's a people pleaser. I'm sorry they are. The path of least resistance, right? Take care.